Hey guys, this is MLC, and we are back with more Life is Strange True Colors for the PlayStation 4. Last episode, we looked around our house, actually. That's all we did, basically. Uh, but right now, we have uh, another trophy to collect right here called Riley Letter. Uh, the trophy's not called that. I'm just saying the item right here is Riley Letter. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Colorado Institute of Technology. Miss Lath. Your application for CIT's 2019 Summer Programming Launchpad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you have been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Keep ah, uh, it's happening! Please, please, please help me prep. Riley. Alright. But the trophy comes from... Bri, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. So, this will actually get you the trophy, a letter to Riley. So that's two trophies so far in this playthrough. We're going for 100% baby, or at least close to 100%. Anyway, we have to open our bag now. Let's unpack Shoo Shoo. Oh god. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Let's unpack our comic from Ethan. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. Okay, so I don't have my glasses on, but we'll try to read this. The tunnel to the monster stronghold of Demonheim collapsed? I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here, unless... Dun, dun. Hollow. Aha. He must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent. But you may still be of use to me. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. Ethan's pretty talented, in all honesty. We've seen things, haven't we, Shoo Shoo? Cute Shoo Shoo. Let's look at these letters. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey, Alex. What's up? You still helping at Helping Hands? Or you still at Helping Hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this a-hole a couple times for a place to stay in. Now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor's a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me, I'll get creative. Anyway, hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you effed her up? LOL. Miss your dummy. 
XO, Sydney. And yes, I said aft and A and everything. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. Miss August could be young for all we know. I have no idea. I really wish those meds had worked. I can't read the handwriting exactly. I want to say it says Alprazolam. Let's read this right here. Abigail Lynn, MD. Patient name Alex Chen. Alprazolam. ER, 6 milligrams. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear Alex, happy birthday! Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day, and that you don't have to deal with a single essy thing from sunup to sundown. I know. Real talk though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I've felt safe and happy, and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend. Thank you for being a friend. For the way you beat Harley's A, for letting me wear all your clothes even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Love, Chelsea. And look at the picture of, um, a Shushu and I guess another Shushu? But a girl one? Or whichever one ours is, I don't know. Alright, let's go on and see what else we have. A photo. Crazy how much we've changed. Yeah, crazy. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. Luckily, yes. Anyway, what else do we have? In this bag, our journal. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Okay, I can sort of read her handwriting. I'll try my best. Mac Anger. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door. Like something was slipping under the frame. Something red. Something raw. Then there's Mac. And that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control. And no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming. Until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone, and it's going to happen, and no one can make me stop. Mac's anger felt hot and dizzy, and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. Red. Rage. Relief. The thought of her with someone else. The thought of her with anyone else. It was under his skin, burning. That feeling like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over. When your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from hummingbirds to laser jet hammer. Also, notice that it says, when you're, but you are your? That makes no sense, Alex. What are you doing? It's such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? A.M.? What's that mean? These threads that bind us up, they burn and weave. 
seethe breathe cleave d inside my ribs they hurt until you leave b flat i don't know i, don't, I know a minor then one of the things is d and then b flat i think that's what that is i have no idea Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way. Oh, thank goodness. I wanted to end the episode. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, hope you guys liked the episode. If you didn't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I upload more Life is Strange, True Colors, or other games in the near future. Anyway, with that out of the way, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And anyway, bye guys.